Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom have been linked since 2016, welcoming their first child together in 2020. But while both stars made plenty of headlines with their previous relationships, fans can't get enough of these two now. Here's the latest scoop on this Hollywood duo. This couple's got a meet-cute made for the movies. They flirted at a Golden Globes after-party in early 2016, but it didn't begin with cocktails and conversation. A source told Us Weekly, Katie and Orlando Bloom had a total dance-off. It was the best part of the party. Bloom told The Mirror that they actually connected at the awards ceremony thanks to Denzel Washington, who was sitting next to Perry, and some in and out. Even Brie Larson was part of the burger scheme. None of us realize that if you walk the carpet, you miss the dinner. Katie play Perry played it really cool, and she was like, I got it. I got this. Catching a whiff of some prime meats, Bloom took the opportunity to make his move, recalling to Us Weekly, When I saw that box of burgers arrive, I wandered over and said to Denzel, Hey man, can I have one of those? Denzel said, Sure, so I took one and winked at Katie. Well, I was sitting with Denzel Washington and he took it, and I was like, Wait, who? Oh, you're so hot. The two made it hilariously Instagram official in May 2016. On paper, Perry and Bloom seem like two peas in a pod. He's known for starring in blockbuster film franchises, and she's a global pop icon. But these two may not be quite as alike as you'd think. Admitting that she'd rather go to Taco Bell than hit the trails, Perry told Entertainment Tonight, Orlando is always trying to get me to hike, do yoga, and eat vegan. When I met Katie, we both had bottles of apple cider vinegar. Perry said their connection was a case of opposites attract. But even so, there are occasions where the stars are totally on the same page. For Halloween in 2016, they dressed up as then-presidential rivals Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. And also, there was that time when they had the same haircut in 2021. Okay, not really, but you get the point. Almost as fast as it started, Perry and Bloom split up in February 2017 after about 13 months of dating. At the time, reps for the couple said in a statement, "...before rumors or falsifications get out of hand, we can confirm that Orlando and Katie are taking respectful, loving space at this time." I just crashed. But Perry was pretty clear about where she stood with Bloom in a March 2017 tweet. When she clapped back at fans, "...how about a new way of thinking for 2017? You can still be friends and love your former partners. No one's a victim or a villain. Get a life, y'all." Still, their love for one another didn't completely fizzle out, and the couple were reportedly back together by 2018. Perry reflected on their time apart, telling people, "...it's really about an individual journey that makes the whole thing better. We both had to decide to go on that journey separately. Because it's not my half and your half that makes a whole. It's my wholeness and your wholeness that makes this whole thing happen." And life is an eternal battle for our um, success and victory. Bloom has remained committed to his personal growth throughout his relationship with Perry, and it seems that this journey was possibly the original reason for their split. Perry said on The Zane Lowe Show, "...Orlando went to this program called The Hoffman Process, and he came back completely changed. He wasn't, like, falling for any of my bullshit anymore. And so I was like, well, I'm bored, and this isn't exciting anymore." I'm Katy Perry, and I'm not just one thing. Perry has since gone through the Hoffman process herself. She explained that fans' reactions after the release of Witness had left her heartbroken and became the catalyst for her to make a personal shift. Perry told Vogue Australia, "...I was ready to let go of anything that was holding me back from being my ultimate self." These two got engaged on Valentine's Day in 2019. According to Brides, Bloom literally aimed high when it came to the magic moment. He proposed to Perry while the two were enjoying a helicopter ride. When they landed on a rooftop in downtown LA, their family and friends were there to celebrate with them. Would you, were you wearing those big headphones when he <laughs> proposed? Will you marry me? <laughs> of course, when the couple was ready to share the news with the public, they both took to Instagram to post Perry's stunning flower-shaped diamond and ruby ring. Brides reported that the sparkler was estimated to be roughly 2.5 carats in total and could be valued at around 5 million bucks. There was a conversation about what a ring might look like. Hey, you gotta go all out to win over a woman who's reportedly worth a cool $330 million. As fans know, the couple's teacup poodle, Mighty, went missing in July 2020. The pup escaped from a yard in Montecito, where the couple was staying while visiting family. As Bloom told the Santa Barbara News Press, "...he's pocket-sized so he can travel everywhere with me. He's been a wonderful companion." His name is Mighty, because <laughs> he's, he's small but mighty. My son nearly named him Tiny. But after the sweet pup was missing for about a week, Bloom announced his death on Instagram. He wrote, "...Mighty's on the other side now. He was more than a companion. It was a soul connection for sure. I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. R.I.P. my mighty heart, my little fellow." Bloom explained to The Mirror that while Mighty's passing was heartbreaking, he found a bittersweet silver lining, sharing, "...it was probably good for Katie to see me go to the lengths that I went to, to try and find him. Mighty was the physical, outward representation of my heart." 
From the moment they got engaged, Perry and Bloom have been trying to lock down a wedding date. But Faye doesn't seem to be cooperating. Us Weekly reported in December 2019 that the couple was meant to wed that month, but a source claimed they changed the timing due to the location they want. They're beyond in love. Oh, Must be a private ceremony. Private ceremony! <laughs> then, of course, the 2020 pandemic happened around the world, putting just about everyone's plans on hold. Early that year, the outlet confirmed that the couple would not be getting married at the time, with a tipster alleging, It just wasn't meant to be. Planning for any wedding has been put on hold. It will happen, but it's just not something they are focused on as a couple currently. Still, there was plenty of celebration happening in the Perry Bloom household, even without a wedding. Perry announced that she and Bloom were expecting a baby together, like only an international pop star could. In March 2020, she released the music video for Never Worn White, featuring a never-before-seen baby bump. An official statement arrived via Twitter, where the singer joked, OMG, so glad I don't have to suck it in anymore. But this new addition didn't appear to be a surprise for the couple. Perry told Zayn Lowe, We were both conscious about getting pregnant. We were both ready. It was no mistake. It was no accident. I'm so excited to be, um, to have a little daddy's girl. I hope I have a little, I mean, I hope she's yeah. gonna love me as much as I love her. We're not sure if it has anything to do with Bloom's last name or not, but he and Perry seem to have a thing for daisies. Not only is there a song called Daisies on Perry's 2020 album Smile, but as the singer revealed to ET Canada, it's Bloom's favorite track of them all. When their daughter arrived in August 2020, the couple shared on Instagram, Welcome to the world, Daisy Dub Bloom. We are floating with love and wonder from the safe and healthy arrival of our daughter. Daisy is Perry's first child, and Bloom shares a son with his ex-wife Miranda Kerr. While they might have seemed like a brief link for each other back in early 2016, by now fans are sure that Bloom and Perry are the real deal. A genuine relationship outside of the spotlight can be hard for two celebrities to maintain, but these two do it by holding each other accountable. Bloom is a little more low-key about the relationship than Perry is, but as Perry told The Zane Lowe Show, part of the reason the relationship works is because the actor isn't focused on his pop star fiancé's onstage persona. She said, He's not Katy Perry's biggest fan. He's here for Katherine Hudson. I think we're both fully aware that it's a mountain to climb and that that mountain won't stop in terms of a relationship. During their brief split, Perry certainly kept Bloom's ego in check when she famously ranked him as her second best lover in an interview with James Corden. Diplo? Yes. And then? Mayor then Bloom? Bloom then Mayor. But it doesn't seem like that revelation bothered Bloom too much. As he told The Times in 2018, Katie is a remarkable human being. When you get hit sideways by love, you get hit sideways. You don't pick who you fall in love with. Just after Perry gave birth to her daughter, she shared details of her experience with Bloom on Jimmy Kimmel. In February 2021, she explained, Orlando has a 10-year-old son, so as much as I was a little bit like, you know, I don't need to hear all those stories, they actually helped. Like, oh, you've had a run at this. You know how to do this. He's been amazing, incredible, and we're so in love and we're so grateful. Perry went on to reveal that even though Daisy arrived during the coronavirus pandemic, Bloom was allowed in the room while she was in labor. She added, He was such a great support. He was there and he was so wonderful. And just like holding my hand and looking into my eyes. As for how Perry feels about becoming a parent, she told Kimmel, It's the best decision I ever made in my entire life. And it appears Bloom isn't too shabby at doing the dad thing either. While celebrating his birthday in January 2021, Perry posted, Happy is 44th to my love, brilliant father of my dove. Thank you for always going back down to the mat with me and never tapping out. So glad my moon found its son. While several outlets reported in March 2021 that the couple might have secretly gotten married thanks to a gold band spotted on Perry's left hand as the pair vacationed in Hawaii, we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled for official updates as we find out what they're up to next. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.